according to multiple reports, Star Wars and X-Men Apocalypse star Oscar Isaac is in negotiations to play Mark Spector in Marvel Disney series uh, Moon Knight. Obviously, Moon Knight, Mark Spector is a pro boxer turned mercenary who gets his powers from the Egyptian moon god during a job turned bad. He's then He then uses uh, multiple aliases, each later established to be actual multiple personalities, um, separate from Spectre, to help fight crime. So, Shamari, I'm very curious. We kind of had a little chat. Uh, we have you know, our group text messaging. We, uh, we gave initial thoughts on it. You said you had plenty of say on Isaac being uh, cast as Moon Knight. So, I'm going to give you the floor first. And, see, and I'm very curious to know what do you have to say now that this is uh, uh, close to being a done deal here. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, first of all, I mean, y- you all, you guys know I'm a fan of Oscar Isaac. I think he's a fantastic actor. I've seen many of his movies. I've never once been disappointed. He's also in the new, uh, another upcoming movie, Dune, that's coming out. Um, based on a, a this is a huge sci fi epic. Yeah, based uh, Villanueva? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I did, yeah, uh, by Denise Villanueva, and, and he's casting that. I know who he's playing. I think he's going to do a great job in that role. I think he's typecast for that as well. And, I mean, he's just he's kind of on a roll right now in terms of these these roles that he's getting, um, with the exception of Apocalypse. But I mean, that wasn't really his fault. Um, now, of course, EJ, me and you were having a discussion with regards to Moon Knight's, um, you know, being a Jewish, someone of Jewish uh, heritage and background. Now, yeah. I'm not, I'm not as familiar with moon knight's character so i don't know how much his judaism is is part of his character um so so i mean it is i think it still remains to be seen whether them casting oscar oscar isaac is going to be something that is to be seen as controversial in any kind of way i don't know um uh but that that is something that will be interesting to see um now, the one thing I would say in terms of 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 w- making you wonder, okay, will it really be seen as a big deal? Is I mean, we've had other other non-Jewish actors play Jewish characters. Like we had. Um, now I know Magneto isn't a hero necessarily, so I don't know if the Jewish community is rocking hard for Mag- going hard for Magneto. Right, right. But his Jewish background is very important. Yeah, and it's very, certainly very traumatic. Uh, you know, I, I would think yeah. with regards to to the Jewish community, um, and neither Fassbender nor Ian McKellen are, are Jewish. You know, yeah, and, yeah. I, mm. and I don't know if if that was a thing. I don't, I don't know if that's something. Right. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't, and I just wasn't aware. But um, but you know, so the, that didn't seem to really ruffle any feathers. I, t- I I tend to believe that this won't cause any problems with regards to that. Um, like I said, unless I get like I said, I'm not as familiar with Moon Knight. I don't know if his his culture and his heritage has a lot to do with his character. But that is regardless, that is something to look look forward to. I'm looking forward to Oscar Isaac playing this character. I think Oscar Isaac is someone that Feige and and I think they'll have a lot of fun with um, with him. I feel like he has a lot of depth as an as an actor. And it's not really seen in some of the roles that he's done. Like in Star Wars, you didn't really see that as much. Um, but I, having seen him in other things, I mean, I think he he really has a lot to offer. He is a lot. He has a lot of range in terms of what he's able to do. So I'm very interested in seeing what he's able to do as Moon Knight. Yeah, and and you know, one of the things about this casting, Kendall, because I you know I posted and I, I, I this is how I feel. You know, I feel like. You know, Isaac is a fantastic actor. I think everything outside of the Judaism, and it was honestly kind of ironic. Of course, his name is Oscar Isaac. And, you know, that led me to think, well, is he is he actually Jewish? Because, you know, obviously his last right. name. And there, I actually was pointing to a very good story about how he came to use Oscar Isaac as his stage name. You know, Isaac is his male name, and he has a an ethnic uh, Latino uh, last name. And, you know... People would think that he was Jewish when you know they 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 booked him, but to me, I, I just feel like this could be an opportunity lost, Kendall. You know, I think that you know this country unfortunately has seen a rise in anti-Semitism, and 
while we have had Magneto we've, and we've had other characters, um, we haven't had a superhero, I think, really have their Judaism really out in the forefront. You know, when we, you know, Shmari says, how important is this Judaism to him? I, to me, it's, it's a little similar, not completely, but it's, it is kind of, to me, somewhat related to kind of like uh, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Murdock's uh, Catholicism. Like to me, that that is pretty important. I, I don't think that it should be thrown away. Like I don't think you just make you know mad at a Buddhist. Like people would not be happy about it. Or if you just kind of ignored the whole um, religion aspect to his character, I think that that would also um, kind of sell short all the complexities that come with Murdoch. I think the same can be said for uh, Mark Spector. So to me, I think that that is a little bit of a missed opportunity. Now, what I will say is, I think. Moon Knight's obscurity could allow Marvel to get away with this. Because let's just be honest, a lot most people don't know who Moon Knight is. They never heard of him. And I'm talking about just a mainstream American, you know. And you there are some superhero fans who've never heard of Moon Knight. So there's so there's a there so they, they have a little freedom to do a, a lot of what anything anything that they want with this. And I'm curious to see, you know, is Judaism gonna be a part of his story? Will they just get rid of it completely? Uh, they may have a chance to get away with it, Kendall. But the one thing I will add, lastly, is as I texted you guys, there is when it comes to um, pointing out slights and and and, and uh, gathering and rallying behind causes of all the ethnic communities, the Jewish community is as effective at messaging um, as poss- uh, as maybe any other community. So. I'm very fascinated to see how this will play out as we get closer to this show coming to fruition. Yeah, no, this is going to be uh, interesting. Um, I've always personally not had as big of an issue uh, with not casting 100% to a person's race or religion. Um, if if the appearance, if, I mean, if it looks ridiculous, and you, if you're trying to pull off something that looks ridiculous, then I'll call you out. But if you're either going to change the character, the character's story, or if the if the person that is playing the if the, if the if the actor that's playing the character can pull off from a visual standpoint what he is playing, then there's no reason why I don't think these people can do it. Um, you know, like The Rock. We're talking about The Rock playing Black Adam. Like he's not. Egyptian or from the Middle East or anything. <laughs> yeah, you know? which, I mean, that's still that. That's another thing that we're keeping out. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> to, see, to see exactly how people are. Gonna, you know, people are gonna yeah, that. right. That, I, I think I, I argue that's probably more controversial in terms of. <laughs> yeah. It, it, like when people actually research Black Adam, because right. they, they will. Yeah, eventually, yeah, especially because it's the Rock's movie. You know, and people are gonna be like, uh, mm. I mean, he played the Mummy before, but I mean, that was before all this stuff. Yeah, well, before, that was a different time. Before you know, nine eleven and uh, yeah. before all this stuff happened. Yeah, it was a different time. Um, so, yeah, no, nah, I mean that. Look, you know, we, we've seen these types of situations before, and it, it, it again, if like the Rock can pull off Black Adam from a visual standpoint, like right. you, you can yes. sell me on the Rock being yes. a, he, the Rock has always been 100%. visually ambiguous, it's, you know, so he can play a lot of different characters when he needs to. But you know, and I think Oscar Isaac has kind of been that as well. You know, he can I play agree. a lot of different characters, and agree. you know, could like. I, to me, that's why I, I feel like this is, a, this is a scenario where it's like, could you sell me on, a, you know, Oscar Isaac being Jewish? Like again, EJ had to look it up, and obviously you can you can you know look however you want to be Jewish. Obviously, which is a, a whole other conversation. Right. Right. But, yeah. Um. So like, to me, like that's that's why I'm not like that's why I'm not losing. You know, that's why I'm I'm not like this is gonna it's gonna offend me personally. But uh, again, I'm not Jewish, so I, I don't know. You know, this isn't it's necessarily for me, but these kinds of situations never really irked me. Again, it's only when it looks ridiculous, where you're I trying mean, to sell me on The Rock playing, you know, an Asian character or something where it's like, yeah. oh, that's not the, who the guy's supposed yeah. to be. I mean, I think, and we've had discussions before about about turning changing Magneto, making him like a black person. Yeah, we've had those conversations those and those conversations are ongoing in the, in the yeah, community. Yeah, those are still about... Okay. I still think that's very controversial. Yeah, yeah. You guys know we've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, that's I, a different level. Yeah, that's very yeah, that's a different level of like you know he, stiff arming the Yeah, the, in terms of Jewish history and right. Yeah and, and, and you know so characters yeah. trauma. Yeah, yeah. I think Marvel trauma. Marvel's gotta <laughs> we talk about like, you know, really kinda treading lightly. You know, they have to really tread those waters lightly when it comes to whatever yeah, they're gonna do with Magneto. 
because uh, especially during these times, you know, you, you know, education is important. And, oh yeah, you know they don't yeah, want to look be. like oh you know yeah, during these times yeah we're changing history they can't be doing any of that <laughs> so it'll be interesting yeah. to see what happens with Magneto, um, but ultimately I wouldn't want them to cast an actor that is Jewish, but they didn't feel it was a good fit for the role just because he's I agree he was the best Jewish actor and, and, and I and I think and I think I agree with that as well. There were some good people on the table, you know I you know I don't know how people felt about Shia LaBeouf. You know, I, I thought that would have been interesting. You know, I, Oscar Isaac, if we're being honest, is a more, way more legitimate actor right now than Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, he, yeah he's better know, than Shia. Yeah, it, you know, Shia LaBeouf has skill, but, you know, he's, you know, he, he can be all over the place sometimes. Um, but Oscar Isaac, right now, I mean, that's somebody who can, who, I mean, you're talking about Dune and the Star Wars trilogy, Ex Machina. Like, he's, yep. he's got, he's got a track record now that is, that is, is really, is really good. Um, Daniel Radcliffe was somebody I would have been interested to buy. You know, that's another Jewish actor. Who knows if he wanted to play the part? I feel like he may have been on the record about wanting to do it. I don't. I don't remember. But he, he had been of, linked. To, he had been linked to the project, but I don't know if there was ever anything solid about his. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he ever said anything about it. Right. Uh, there, you know, again, there was a lot of fan stuff, and you know, there there been you know some people kind of. I don't want to say people making stuff up, but people, you know, reporting. Uh, like he said it wasn't concrete, but. Again, I mean, you know, if did Radcliffe, I, personally, I would have went with Radcliffe if you could have gotten him. But I don't know, maybe his number was too high, maybe he didn't want to do it. Um, or maybe, look, I can understand from an actor, act, actor to actor perspective, them saying we'd rather have Oscar Isaac for his role than Daniel Radcliffe. Um, they may not feel Radcliffe was the right fit for the role. They may not feel like, you know, what they're going for. Like, they're totally, they're, they're completely different actors. So, <laughs> and, to, and, to, and to this and to this point, we still don't. We haven't. This would be the first Latino superhero in Marvel universe, right? I'm trying to think if there's anyone else. There isn't. I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. Yeah. So I mean, it's not like you know they just didn't pick like some, you know, just another, uh, you know, Protestant white man. You know, I mean, they went with something. They still, they yeah. still, I, still I, infuse I, diversity. I mean, obviously, if we're talking like the MCU, like the, the I mean, we had Ghost Rider. Um, we'll see what happens with Ghost Rider, yeah. but uh, I'm hearing that there, there are whispers of, um, uh, geez, I forget her name. It's like something. For, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whispers about her as well. Yeah. 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 Um. They, they're and they're, look, the Robbie Reyes scene was great, and I, it doesn't seem like they're not going to do Robbie Reyes right in the new one, which is unfortunate. Yeah, um, no, that's not what they're saying. So, but you know, I don't think that they will lean into Oscar Isaac being Hispanic as much as we did, as much as they did, like obviously, like Ghost Rider. But I don't know, I could be wrong. You know, I'm not giving them enough credit, but um, you know, I don't think that that'll be uh, something that they lean into. I don't know what they're going to do. I, you know, stuff for me to speculate. It's too early. Like, uh, he'll probably be Jewish, I would imagine. Because, again, uh, you, can't, you can't just, you know, completely change the character. But I don't know. It's gonna, it's, look, it's going to be it's gonna be fascinating either way. Um, you know, I mean, again, it's this. I think in terms of just talent, which in the end of the day, you know, to some degree, this should that really should be all that matters. I mean, Isaac, I think, is a home run. Uh, again, I think the importance of being part of uh, history with uh, – with uh, franchises that you know are kind of um, unique in its fan base and the, and the and the passion behind it, um, he has his talent level is through the roof pretty much when it comes to acting. So, uh, and I think that when it comes to besides the, the Jewish stuff, like I think in terms of just what we're gonna need, you know, someone who's, who's very you know, a physical actor who can do all the stunts and look the part um, in being able to do all the stunts. And and to be play, you know, again, these figures that he needs to be, whether it be, you know, the multi-billionaire playboy guy or if it's the cabbie, like, I think that he could do all those things. And, um, and I think it'll be interesting to see some of the range he may be able to show by seeing that multiple personality disorder come through and how he'll uh, play that up. I think he can do a great job. So overall, I can't be too mad at the at the hire. I just think that, you know... I do wonder what the uh, what what benefit could have happened if they would have went with a traditional um, Jewish actor for this uh, 
Jewish role, you know, you know, he's this Jewish role, you know, it's one of the more prominent superheroes that really um, where their Jewish background is really a big part of their character. But nonetheless, now, what, I'm excited for this show and I'm excited to see what they do. Last thing on this. Well, last, thing I'll, uh, last thing I'll say is that we'll, you know, from a marketing perspective, did they feel like, like visually, you know, if you put a Jewish actor in this. Again, it could be anybody, but you know, if you're talking to Shia LaBeouf, or you're talking to uh, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, they talked about Nick Kroll earlier today, which you know I thought was funny how like the Nick Kroll stuff started going on, coming out there, and then like you know a couple minutes later, you know Oscar Isaac, because everybody was talking about how crazy that'd be if they went with Nick Kroll's and that. But uh, like if you went with one of them, um, people, like, how many people actually even realize? You know what I mean? Like, how, how many people would even know that Moon Knight is a Jewish superhero? Because he's not well, I think what, not what, to, what to me, I think that to. I think that that comes with the reporting and with the promotion of the movie. Like, as soon as one of those gentlemen gets cast, that's part of the article. Yeah, that's all. And that, yeah, you're that's putting all that in forefront. Like, when you read these articles about Moon Knight, they don't really talk much about his Judaism because it doesn't make sense with Isaac Isaac. And. In some way, I feel like it's kind of omitting a big part of the story, but it's just that just goes. That's just the rollout. You know, the rollout is different if it's those characters, those actors. So I gotcha. think that's a, it, it. Becomes a big deal. I, I, yeah, I'm thinking more of like when the movie comes out or when the show comes out with like trailers and you know, you know, posters and stuff. Like people are like, oh, you know, this guy's a Jewish trooper. Like obviously, you know, it's not going to be. It's not Black Panther or. Shang Chi or anything like that, where it's and obviously you know, you know it's a religion, so it's like right, exactly. it's, it's it's different. Um, there's so little things, like, there's little things you can do, but it's again, I think that the thing where it's not that's not going to move the needle enough mm-hmm. financially for them to make that a uh, compromise. And I look, I don't know, we yeah. will never. Know. <laughs> no, I, I get that. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this podcast segment, be sure to check out all of our shows on the New Generation Podcast Network on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher.